25 upon 5 minus square root of 24 all under square root. How do we simplify it? So, to simplify it, let's first rationalize the denominator. So, rationalizing the denominator, what we need to do? We need to multiply and divide it by the conjugate of the denominator. What does conjugate mean? Conjugate of x plus y is x minus y and vice versa. So, conjugate of 5 minus square root of 24 will be 5 plus square root of 24. If we multiply and divide it by the same number, this conjugate, then the number won't change fraction. This fraction won't change. So, let's rationalize it using this conjugate. So, 25 times 5 minus square root of 24 upon 5 plus square root of 24 times 5 minus square root of 24 under square root. 25 times 5 is 125 minus 25 times square root of 24 upon. Now, this is in the form of if we consider 5 as a and square root of 24 as b, then it is in the form of a plus b times a minus b. And this is in the form of differences of square. So, we can write it as a square minus b square. So, we can write it. 5 square minus square root of 24 square under square root. So, 125 minus 25 square root of 24 we can write 6 times 4 under square root upon 5 square is 25 minus we can remove the square root with this square. So, 24 under square root. Now, 25 minus 24 is 1. So, we have now 125 minus 25 and this we can write when a times b is under square root, we can write it as square root of a times square root of b. So, it will be square root of 4 times square root of 6 under square root or it is 125 minus 25 square root of 4 is 2 then square root of 6 under square root. To further simplify it, we need to remove the square root. How do we remove the square root? If we can write these numbers in terms of a plus minus b whole square, then this whole square can remove the square root because square root means it is raised to the power of 1 upon 2. So, this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. So, let us try to write it in the form of a plus minus b whole square algebraic expression 125 minus 25 we can write it as square root of 25 square because when a is under square root we know it is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 so if we square it it, it is like equal to a so 25 we can write it as square root of 25 square and it will be equal to 25 then times 2 then times square root of 6 all under square root. It is 125 minus. Now, when square root of A times square root of B, we can write it as A times B under square root. So, this we can write it as 2 times 6 times 25 times 25 or 125 minus 2 times 6 is 2 times 3, 25 is 5 times 5, 5 times 5 under square root. Now, if you look at these numbers, if we multiply here 5 times 3 times 5, it will be 75. Then times 2 times 5 times 5 is equal to 50. So, we can write these numbers as the product of 75 times 50. So, 125 minus 2 times 75 
times 50 under square root then under square root now 125 we can write it as 75 plus 50 it will be equal to 125 minus 2 75 times 50 under square root we can write it as square root of 75 times square root of 50 under square root again square root again 75 we can write it as square root of 75 square and there won't be any difference plus 50 as square root of 50 square minus 2 times square root of 75 times square root of 50 under square root now if you consider square root of 75 as a and square root of 50 as b then this is in the form of a square plus b square minus 2ab and this algebraic expression we can write it as a minus b whole square so we can write it as square root of 75 minus square root of 50 whole square under square root now you can remove the square root with the square now we have square root of 75 minus square root of 50 now we can further simplify these radicals 75 we can write it as 5 square times 3 under square root 50 as 5 square times 3 under square root or it is 5 square under square root times square root of 3 minus 5 square under square root times square root of sorry here we have 2 so square root of 2 remove the square root with the square so it is 5 times square root of 3 minus 5 times square root of 2 now you can take 5 as common so 5 then square root of 3 minus square root of 2 so this is our answer how did you solve it let me know in the comment section thanks for watching